How's it going, people? I'm doing pretty good, but it's been an eventful day and I'm kind of tired. Up at my new house. Uh, let me share a little sight of beauty while we still have daylight. Look out my window. That's a chandelier reflection, but that is all forestry back there. Yes. Living up on Mount Hope and surrounded by trees. Life is good. And to make it a little better on this eventful day of <sighs> trench digging and doing some honeydews at my mom's place, like cleaning off her roof and cleaning out her rain gutters. And I deserve a little libation. And I have some things to share with you. I hope they don't suck. I'm not sure myself. I, You'll find out when I do. Cheers. Just loosening up the vocal cords. I'm going to have a little Oktoberfest. little something to chase it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Mom has been sharing her Scientology mail with me again. <laughs> she got this today. I've obscured her address because Mom's bashful. Some guy named Larry Parker sent this to her. And uh, she got this last week. Dynamic! <laughs> and I want to point out, the last one was like regular magazine size. <laughs> they really are on a decline, aren't they? Anyway, it's all sealed up. Oh, let's look at this dynamic first. Sounds action-packed. <sighs> Mom is kind of bugged by the fact that Scientology has her on their radar. She's not sure why, but they want her auditing people. I mean, I know why I'm on their radar. I had a stress test. I did it on purpose. I thought they might send me some amusing things. Oh, <laughs> I got to share this cover first. Bring your friends into the Scientology, into, for Scientology service. It's the friendliest thing you can do. What is Greatness by L. Ron Hubbard? Because he really fucking knew. Oh. God damn it, they sealed this thing up all over the place. Like, surprised he didn't use a signet ring to make sure that it wasn't tampered with. Dead gummit. Yeah, mutilating this thing. Anyhow, ah. and there's a picture of our great leader, the profiteer, in thoughtful repose. And uh, one of their ideal orgs. Yeah, what is greatness? Well, we all want to find out, don't we? <sighs> the hardest task one can have is to continue to love his fellows despite all reasons he should not. Really, Ron? Do tell. And the true sign of sanity. Ron knew all about that. And greatness is to so continue. For the one who can achieve this, there is abundant hope. For those who cannot, there is only sorrow, hatred, and despair, you know, contaminated with thetans and stuff. Yes. And those things are not things of which 
greatness or sanity or happiness are made. A primary trap is to succumb to invitations to hate. There are those who appoint one their executioners, sometimes for the sake of safety of others. It is necessary to act. But it is not, but it is not necessary to also hate them, just because they're your executioners. To do one's task without becoming furious at others who seek to prevent one is a mark of greatness and sanity. Have you ever read Janet Reitman's book, uh, Inside Solentology? Lots of stories of L. Ron Hubbard uh, losing his temper and uh, sanity. And let's see, Muscavige. Uh, I hear that he beats up his uh, subordinates and is a little paranoid has bodyguards and carries a gun and greatness. Okay. And only then can one be happy. And this is from the Scientology Sacramento Org. Ah. <clears throat> Seeking to achieve any single desirable quality in life is a noble thing. The most uh, the one most difficult and most necessary to achieve is to love one's fellows despite all invitations to do otherwise. Is that like a reverse Valentine? I don't know. Uh, hate mail, that's what it is. Got it. If there is any saintly quality, it is... If there is any saintly quality, it is not to forgive. Really. Forgiveness accepts the badness of the act. There is no reason to accept it. Further, one has to label the act as bad to forgive it. Forgiveness is a much lower level action and is rather uh, censorous. After all, there are all, wait, after all, they are all in the same trap. Ah. I lost my place, sorry. Um, some are oblivious of it. Some have gone mad because of it. Some act like those who betrayed them. But all, but all, all are in the same trap. Yes, he did that twice and he put a little combo between them. It was for dramatic effect. The generals, the street sweepers, the presidents, the insane, and some others he forgot to list, I'm sure. Goes without saying. All right. Uh, they act the way they do because they are all subject to the same cruel pressures of this universe. Blame it on Xenu. Ah. Some of us are subject to those pressures and still go on doing our jobs. Others have long since succumbed and rave and torture and strut like the demented souls they are. <sighs> we can at least understand the one fact that greatness does not stem from savage wars or being known. <clears throat> it stems from being true to one's own 
decency. For going on helping others whenever they, uh, whatsoever they do or think or say, and despite all savage acts against one, to persevere without changing one's basic attitude towards man, capitalized M. Is that why they do that bull baiting, you know, so to see if they can piss you off and get a reaction? Because the whole point is to be like, you know, Commander Data, completely, you know, no reactions. A robot. That's when you're clear. To that degree, true greatness depends on total wisdom. They act as they do because they are what they are. Trapped beings crushed beneath an intolerable burden and plagued with thetans. <sighs> and if they have gone mad for it and command the devastation of the whole of whole nations in errors of explanation, still one can understand why and can understand as well the extent of their madness. Damn it. Why should one challenge and begin to hate? Wait, why should one change and begin to hate just because others have lost themselves and their own desires uh, are too cruel for them to face? Justice, mercy, forgiveness, all are unimportant beside the ability not to change because of provocation or demands to do so. Got to be clear on that. No reactions. Don't let it knock you off your little pedestal. One must act. One must persevere. Uh, wait, one must preserve. One must act. One must preserve order and decency. But one need not hate or seek vengeance. Depends on which words of wisdom you're reading from Ron. Because, I mean, didn't he talk about how you treat OPs like me? Uh, no holds barred? That sounds like vengeance. It is true that beings are frail and commit wrongs. Man is basically good, but man can act badly. <sighs> He only acts badly when his acts, done for order and safety for others, are done with hatred. Or when his uh, disciplines are founded only upon safety for himself, regardless of all, uh, uh, regardless of all others, or worse, when he acts only out of the taste for cruelty. To persevere, no order, wait, to preserve, sorry, the lighting's bad in here. Uh, to preserve no order at all is an insane act. One need only look at the possessions and environment of the insane to realize this. The able keep good order. When cruelty in a name of discipline uh, dominates a race, that race has been taught to hate. The able keep, wait, wait, wait. Uh, that, and that race is doomed. Sorry, I was reading the wrong line. Uh, the real lesson is to learn to love, like he said before. He's repeating it for effect now, I guess. Uh, he who would walk uh, scatheless through his days must learn this. Never use what is done to one as a basis for hatred. Never desire revenge. It requires real strength to love man, capitalized, 
and to love him despite all invitations to do otherwise. Much repetition there, Ron. All provocations and all reasons why one should not. Happiness and strength endure only in the absence of hate. To hate alone is the road to disaster. To love is the road to strength. To love in spite of all is the, is the secret to greatness and may very well be the greatest secret in the universe, said Buddha and a bunch of other people before you, Ron. Not very original. <sighs> anyway, that's the end of Ron's little, little uh, article. And uh, come in and, and see a thought. <laughs> or you can just do biofeedback, same thing. Anyway, this is running long. I'll open the others up, but I'll do another video because i got to finish this. Stay tuned. I don't want to drag this on.